Geometry Math Prodigy, this is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of math mastery and today we're going to go into question number 10 of your assessment paper number 13. Now this last question is a little bit confusing um, but let me explain to you how to do this, okay? So let's take a look at the question. It says that mother has some money to buy beef. We don't know how much money it is but we know that she's going to buy some beef. Now she will have $15 left. <coughs> oh, it's fine. <laughs> oh my god, excuse me. She will have $15 left if she buys 3 kilograms of beef. However, she will need $3 more if she wants to buy 4 kilograms of beef instead. How much money does mother have? Okay, let me just give you an example, okay? If she buys 3 kilograms, in this case I'm going to draw, 1 kilo, 2 kilo, and 3 kilo. Okay, 1, 2, 3. If she buys 3 kilo, she will still have another extra $15. Got it? But if she buys 4 kilograms, so 1, 2, 3, 4, she will be, you know, she will need another $3 more, which means that she is short of $3. That means she will still need another $3. Okay, I got plus, right, plus here. I'm going to write, um, what should I write? This is an extra lah. This is an extra fifteen dollars. Now this will require another extra three dollars to get four kilograms. So what happens is you must understand that if she buys three kilograms, she will have fifteen dollars left. But if she buys four kilograms, she will need an extra three dollars. So let's imagine by the time she bought the third, uh, the third um, kilogram, she will have fifteen dollars in her wallet. But she will need still another extra $3, which means that 15 plus 3, which is $18, is the cost of the fourth kilogram. And the question is asking me, how much money does mother have? Okay, so now, if this is $18, okay, if this one kilogram is $18, can we find out what's the amount of money she has? We can. We can just do this. 1, 2, and 3. The first one when she bought is 3 times, oops, sorry. It's just 3 times 18. Okay, it's 3 times 18. And that will give me the cost of each uh, of the 3 kilograms that she bought. That means she would have used up $54 in buying the first 3 kilograms of beef. However, remember that she will still have an additional $15 in her wallet. Which means that at the start, she has $54 plus $15. Oops, sorry, plus $15, or oh, this is bad, plus $15, which gives you, what, $69, and that is the answer for this question, okay? If you got that one right, high five to you, because you are a math prodigy, good job. And that brings me to the last quote of the week, and the quote of the week is, emotions can be your greatest allies in life, but too much of them will destroy you. So again, like I said, don't be over emotional about things. Just use your emotions to strengthen your motivation and your inspiration to do well, to do better, and to have more and to be more. Just remember that um, you have to be confident in order for you to finish your math questions, to do well your math questions. And remember, you're going to go into primary, primary four soon. Okay, are you ready for that? There's so many more difficult questions. But like I said, if you change your mindset from having, oh, this is so difficult, to having something that says, I'm going to challenge myself, I'm going to do well in this, I'm somehow going to do well then you will succeed. Alright, with that, this is Coach Saiful signing off saying you are a math prodigy. Good job.